I'm going to have some breakfast. I am super, super hungry. I just finished my protein coffee after I went to boot camp this morning and it is time for some breakfast. Definitely need some food. So I'm going to do my premier protein pancakes. I've been loving these. I've been eating these for the last few days after my workout. It's a great way to get in 15 grams of protein and some carbohydrates post-workout. So they come in individual little packs of three pancakes, so it's really convenient. This is one serving. And then I just add a little bit of my favorite syrup from Lakanto, some Kerrygold butter, just about a teaspoon or so over the pancakes. And then I am going to have some fruit, some blueberries and some raspberries. So here's my breakfast. This looks amazing. I am so so excited for this. So I have three of the Premier Protein Pancakes with one teaspoon of Kerrygold butter and a couple tablespoons of sugar-free maple syrup. I will link Lakanto down below for you guys with 15% off. And then I have some fresh raspberries and blueberries all on my Uba home plate. I share this all the time. These are pre-portioned plates that help you with portion control and keep your food from touching. If that's an issue for you, I will link Uba home for you guys as well with a discount. Good morning, an official good morning to today's what I eat in a day. I just finished my breakfast. It was absolutely amazing. Like I mentioned, I had my protein coffee a little bit before I went to boot camp, a little bit after, so I finished my protein coffee as well. I just mixed up my Motivate Amino, which is my BCAA post-workout supplement, which helps me recover from my workout, get in my water, and I thought before we jumped into the rest of the video, I would share with you my OOTD or my outfit of the day. You guys are always asking, where did you get your shirt? Where did you get your pants? What jewelry are you wearing? And today's outfit actually comes from an online retail club called Sam Peel. Now you know that I'm always looking for affordable, high quality clothing, especially on a weight loss journey and changing sizes pretty frequently. I don't want to spend a lot of money on clothes, but I also want to have nice, high quality, stylish pieces. And I discovered Sam Peel and I ordered quite a few things from their website and I wanted to share them with you, starting with the shirt that I have on. I do have a little sweater on because I'm a bit chilled from being outside for boot camp. This shirt is so cute. You know my love for leopard print. This is the women's leopard gradient print tank top. It is $19.90 before any discounts and I have a discount for you. It comes in the color pink in sizes small through XXL. So this is a tank top, perfect as we move into spring or summer. I picked mine up in a size large and I would say that it fits true to size. It definitely fits me. It's a little bit flowy on the bottom as it should be. And I think the gradient design with the leopard print is so cute. And I decided to pair this with a pair of jeans that I picked up from Sam Peel. And let me just tell you how much I love these jeans. How cute are these? I love the dark washed denim with a little bit of distressing. These are the high waist stretch ripped skinny jeans. They are $38.99. They come in sizes small through XXL. I picked mine up in a size large and they fit perfectly. They are a slim fitting skinny jean, so they are a little bit tighter in the legs and the waist fits perfect. I could have probably got a medium, but I like that there's a little bit of room in the size large and I love the button fly. I think that is so cute. They're higher waisted, so they conceal the tummy area. They conceal the loose skin on my back and I just think they are the cutest jeans and the most comfortable high quality jeans. So I decided today to wear the leopard tank top, the jeans and a little sweater, but I really, love this outfit. I think it is so cute as we get into the warmer months. Now this here is one of their best selling pieces on their website. So I saw how many positive reviews that it had and how it was such a big seller for them. And I fell in love with it based on the website. So I had to pick this up. This is the black v-neck pleated pedal sleeve belted straight jumpsuit. It's currently on sale for $39.99. It actually comes in black, blue, white, purple, and green in sizes small through XXL. Now, I picked mine up in a size large. Now, if you didn't know, I'm going to a nutrition conference in April, and it is kind of a business casual conference, but there's a couple of dress up nights, so I thought this jumpsuit would be perfect for one of those dress up nights, and then I picked up a really dressy dress that I'll share with you as well, but this fit me perfectly. I love that it is a little bit cropped, so it is kind of like pre length of a jumpsuit, and the belt around the waist just cinches everything in, but it's so flowy and flattering on the figure. I especially love the cute ruffled sleeves. I see why this is one of their best sellers. And then, like I said, I had to get a fun, kind of glitzy, glass 
glamoury dress for the dress up event. I don't know if it's coming across on camera, but this actually shifts from purple to pink and it is this spaghetti strapped fitted ruched glittery beautiful dress this is the shiny gold waist strap hip wrap sexy backless dress it is 36 dollars. it comes in purple in sizes small through extra large i picked mine up in a size large and i love it it's form fitting as it should be but the ruching again just camouflages the tummy area or any of your problem areas and it does have a really nice zip closure. I just slipped it right on, but you can unzip it to get it on and off. And I love that it has the crisscrossed front and the adjustable spaghetti straps. You could put a little cardigan over this if you wanted, but this is going to be perfect for the dress up evening at that nutrition conference in April. I wanted another dress. I love wearing dresses in spring and summer and I thought that this was so cute. It kind of gives me animal print leopard vibes on the bottom of the dress. This is a hanging neck splicing belted vacation cami dress. This is $30. It comes in army green and navy in sizes small through extra large. I ended up picking navy. I just liked the navy with the orange and black print on the bottom a little bit better than the army green. I will say that I, I picked mine up in a size large and it is a little bit tight on me, especially around the bust area. I would say that this dress maybe runs a little bit small. So if you're in between sizes, I would go ahead and size up. But I will say that not only is the halter style of it very flattering, the way that it flows on the body cinches in at your smallest part of your waist and then flows down is really, really nice, is very figure flattering. And the quality of this is really, nice. It's very, very soft and it is very comfortable. And I like that it has the belted waist as well. Again, cinching everything in. And then I picked this up and when this came, I'm like, I don't get it. I don't understand how this one piece of material fits the body, but this is actually a backless top. Now, I shouldn't have probably picked this up only because you know my back is a problem area for me. However, I can always pair this with a tank top or something underneath it because I think the style of it is very unique and different. This is the rhinestone chain backless cami top. It is $15. It comes in small, medium, and large. I picked mine up in a large. I could have sized down to a medium, but I do love that it has this chain detailing. The thing about this top to be mindful of is that the back of it is entirely open. The only thing going across your back is this silver chain. So again, for me with the back situation that I have probably wasn't the best choice, but I can pair this with a jacket or a tank top underneath, like I said, or maybe once I have my plastic surgery, I won't mind wearing in a, back, a backless shirt, but it is very thick, very high quality, and you can't beat the price for $15. And then last but not least is this dress. I love this. I love a good denim inspired dress. I, I love the gold buttons on this. I love that it has a cute little collar, that it is sleeveless. You could pair this with a denim jacket or a cardigan or wear it sleeveless for spring and summer. This is the V-neck corset single breasted cami dress. It is $35. It actually comes in blue and green in sizes small through extra large. I picked mine up in an extra large and I'm really glad that I did because it is pretty tight on me. I would say that this is this dress also runs on the small size. On the small side, I can wear it. It's comfortable. I can sit down. I can move around, but it's definitely fitted. But looking at the pictures online, it looks like it is meant to be fitted, but I love this. It is very flattering on the figure. And like I said, if you're uncomfortable with it being a little bit on the tighter, more fitted side, just throw a cute denim jacket or sweater or cardigan, or even a lightweight kind of bomber jacket over. It would be really, really cute. But I just thought this was so adorable and lightweight and perfect for the warmer months. So that's my outfit of the day, the pieces I picked up from Sam Peel, I will link them down below. I'll actually link each of the pieces I shared with you and their website. And if you use the code GEN18, you'll actually get 18% off of the already really affordable prices. I will say all of the pieces are high quality. There is a size chart and a size guide on the website. I recommend using that because I did find that some of the pieces fit a little bit small, but most of them did fit true to size. So definitely check out the size chart on the website. So I'm in the car. You can see I have diesel with me. My life has been very chaotic with the dogs. You guys know that Lola was diagnosed with lymphoma. lymphoma. 
She's been going through chemo. Diesel, you also know, is old. He's 11 years old. If you remember, several years ago, he had a torn ACL and had surgery to repair his ACL. He has suffered from arthritis ever since that surgery. Well, over the last few days, that same leg, his back right leg, has been swollen and it has progressively gotten worse. Now his leg is swollen like three times the size of his other leg. His whole entire groin is swollen, his upper thigh, his entire leg swollen, super swollen. He's acting completely normal, eating, drinking, all the normal things. He doesn't act like he is hurt. He doesn't wince or cry, but it is so incredibly swollen. I called the vet and they said, hey, can you get here in 15 minutes? She has an opening. So I said, absolutely. So we literally hopped in the car, threw a sheet over my back seat to help eliminate as much dog hair as possible. And we're in the car on our way to the vet. So I'm just hoping that this isn't something major. Uh, with maybe like his his kidneys or his body. Of course, I Googled it because that's what you do, right, Dr. Google? I mean, it could be multiple things. It could be something as simple as a bug bite. Uh, my neighbor's uh, puppy actually got bit by something and whole neck was swollen like Lola's was with the lymph nodes and it ended up being a dog bite, uh, a bug bite. So it could be something like that. I don't know, but we're gonna take him in. I don't know if I told you guys too that when he had his urine tested when we brought all the dogs in. He had a lot of protein in his urine, uh, which can be a kidney related issue. So we're gonna see, we're on our way. Of course, I'll keep you guys updated. See, I don't know if you can see, it's all swollen. I mean, it's huge. His poor leg and his groin and everything is all swollen. Yeah, you're at the doctor now. We're at the doctor now. Okay, we just left the vet. So the vet is pretty sure that the swelling is caused from some type of blockage in his lymphatic system. I think I've shared with you guys before that he has a pretty big mass on his side. He's had it for well over a year, maybe even two years. And they always are concerned about it, thinking that it's some type of tumor or something. Luckily, he's not sick. So the, the possibility of it being cancerous is a little bit less because he has no other symptoms. And since he's had that mass on his side for so long, if it was a fast acting cancer, kind of like what Lola had, he would have had some symptoms like the swollen lymph nodes or being sick and he has nothing. So she thinks that the swelling in his leg is caused from some type of blockage in his lymphatic system. And really the only way to know what is causing that is to have some type of imaging done, like an MRI or CT scan. So we talked about having that done and whatever the results of that were, what would we do with those results? Diesel is almost 11 and a half years old. He's a big dog. He has a lot of lumps and bumps and fatty masses. He has really bad arthritis in the, hi buddy, in the knee that had the ACL surgery. So we talked about like, what would we do if we found out based on these tests that it was some type of tumor? And she said that the only options you have, really the only option you have is to remove the tumor, which would require that diesel goes through surgery. So because that's not something that we want to do, or really honestly is recommended with his age and his health, the best thing for us to do is to make him as comfortable as possible. So what she recommended is continuing on his NSAID for in inflammation. And then also we need to do a heat compress using a heating pad, which we have um, on his leg a couple times a day and kind of massage that. So that's gonna be one of Troy's dad, dad jobs, maybe in the evening and in the morning, like do that heat compress on his leg. And she said kind of massage it like you're trying to break something up and that might help with the swelling. So I asked her what happens if the swelling doesn't get better. And she said, you know, eventually he won't be able to walk on that leg or put weight on that leg. And at that point, that's when decisions have to be made, whether we figure out a way to get him some type of cart or something to move around. What's his quality of life at that point? But really the reality of the situation is he's just not age related, weight related, health related, really healthy enough to go through surgery. So we are opting against the imaging because regardless of the results, the, the end result for us or the decision we would make would be the same. So that's kind of where we are. So here he is. So he's here. He's just 
he's hot and he's tired. It takes a lot out of him to go to the vet. So that's kind of where we are. So I thought that I would give you a quick update. I would like to take Lola to get her nails trimmed today, but I have coaching calls and lots of things to do. But let's just see where the rest of the day takes us. It's been a pretty chaotic start this morning. All right, I'm home. I just got home and I'm going to have a quick snack. I'm a little bit hungry. I need to get a little bit of work done. I have some coaching calls today. So my lunch is probably gonna be a little bit later. So I'm actually going to have one of my little Simply Protein bars. I buy these at Costco. Actually, I saw that these are on sale in the next Costco coupon book. Highly recommend these. They are so good. They have 15 grams of protein and only 150 calories. So a really good bang for your calorie protein buck. So I have my Motivate Amino that I'm just about done with. And then I'm going to have my Simply Protein Bar. I just filled up my water cup with fresh water and some ice. And I'm going to add my Velway fiber. I actually shared this with you guys a few weeks ago and I've been getting a lot of questions on, am I still using it? What do I think of it now that I've tested it out for a while? And yes, I'm still using it. And these two right here are my favorite. So this is the one I use the most. This is the Beauty Super Fiber and Collagen. So you know I put collagen in my coffee every morning, but I also like to add this to my water to flavor my water. And it gives you a great boost of fiber and collagen. It's gluten-free, there's no sugar, and there's 15 grams of collagen per serving. This is the watermelon flavor, and this one is really, really good. And then this is probably my other favorite thing. They do have a green supplement as well, but I tend to reach for these a little bit more. This one is the original super fiber and fruit, and this is mixed berry flavor. I really like this. It has kind of a blueberry raspberry flavor. Really, really good in water. This has psyllium husk fiber. No sugar, gluten-free, 100% vegan. So these are the two that I've been using the most for that little boost of fiber. When you eat a really high protein diet, it can cause issues in that area. So adding enough fiber is really important. And what I really like about Bellway is it's a nice clean fiber and it also adds flavor to water. So it's a great way to get in water and get in your fiber. So I think today I'm going to use the mixed berry. Here's what it looks like. It doesn't have any weird taste at all. It literally just tastes like flavored water enhancer, but you're getting in all the fiber. So you're going to add one scoop to your water, and then I usually use my handheld frother to mix it up. Tastes super good, and again, a really good way to get in some extra fiber. So I will link Bellway down below with a discount code for you. I would definitely recommend checking out their website. They have some really great supplements. Their greens taste delicious as well if you're in the market for a green supplement. But like I said, these two right here are the ones that I reach for daily. I am starving, so I'm going to eat some lunch. I just got off a coaching call, and I have another one here in 20 minutes. But I'm going to do my meal prep. So I have my satay chicken that I cooked up, and my my slaw and my peanut sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and warm up my chicken, add the peanut sauce. I think I might have a little bit of my Nanamo bars that I made in my meal prep as well. This is a St. Patty's Day inspired mint bar slash pie. It is so incredibly delicious. So I think I'm going to have a serving of that as well. So let me warm up my chicken and I'll show you my completed lunch. So here is my lunch. Here's my chicken with my slaw with some of the peanut sauce and then some dessert. I don't know, this sounds really good. You know how I love my mint. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. So we decided to get a shower caddy for our spare bathroom, just for extra room for our guests for their bathroom items. And I had to share this with you guys because I am thoroughly impressed with the quality. This is the Budget and Good Shower Caddy Suction Cup No Drill Removable Shower Organizer. You can pick this up right off of Amazon. I'll link it down below with a discount code for you. This is damage free and literally took me one second to put up. It's durable, it's heavy duty. Those suction cups really adhere to the wall so you can load it up with bath products and it isn't going anywhere. In fact, the hook uh, is guaranteed to last a thousand days without falling. It has a quick dry and drain design, so there's holes in the bottom so the water just goes through. There's little hooks on the front for you to hang your loofah or your scrub or your scrubby shower sponge. It definitely saves space because of the fence hooks on the front as well as the basket to put your bath items. And it is reusable with a wide 
or narrow application, whatever you need for your particular shower. But I think this is going to be perfect for when our guests come over so that again, they have a place to put all of their shower items. You can actually use the organizer for not only the bathroom, but for the kitchen, the living room, and even for outdoor use. You can put it on really any applicable wall surface, smooth marble, ceramic tile, metal, glass, solid wood, even rough surfaces, paint printed surfaces, and crack surfaces. For me, it worked out really good even on the surround in my bathtub. We've actually been doing a lot of work and updating to our guest bathroom. And again, the shower caddy is just absolute perfection. And like I said, you can pick it up right off of Amazon. So it is super convenient, shipped to your doorstep. And of course, I will go ahead and link it down below with a discount. Do you guys want a special bone? <gasps> special bones. They just came in the mail. Oh, there you go. Little Miss Lola, you smell good, your peanut butter. Here you go, here you go, bud. Here, good job. So I'm going to have an afternoon snack. I'm keeping it super, super simple. I am drinking my water and I'm going to have half of a cup of my good culture cottage cheese and about 50 grams of blueberries. Here is what that looks like. I put it in my Uba home bowl so I don't have to measure it out. There are marks on the inside of these bowls so I just added cottage cheese to half of a cup. Weighed out my 50 grams of blueberries. I definitely need a little extra protein as my afternoon snack so this is going to give me a good amount of protein plus we know I love good culture. Adding that fruit gives some fiber and some healthy carbohydrates. So this is my afternoon snack. I'm currently eating my afternoon snack, and I decided that I was gonna have some crackers too. I'm going to do one serving, which is 12 crackers of these multi-grains from Trader Joe's. These are so good. I actually like to dip these in the cottage cheese, but highly recommend if you have a Trader Joe's near you, these crackers are delicious. So I'm currently getting gas. I did grab a coffee at Dunkin'. I did the sugar-free toasted almond with two cream. So it's zero points, zero calories, other than counting for the cream. It's actually really good and there's ice in here today. You get an extra 100 points when you order ahead on Monday. So if I get coffee on Monday, a second coffee, it's always from Dunkin'. So I got Dunkin', ran to the post office, getting gas in my car, and then I have to head home because I have a few coaching calls. Diesel's doing well. Troy is actually going to put the heating pad on his leg and, and massage his leg a little bit before Troy goes for blood work. This whole family, I'm telling you, like I feel like I'm the only healthy one right now. Well, me and Palmer. Palmer mentally not healthy, maybe. Oh, speaking of Palmer, BarkBox is coming today. So of course I'll share that with you guys as well. So BarkBox is here. I have a little French Bulldog at my feet already, so we'll quickly go through BarkBox. I will link it down below. I think you get a free month if you use the link. I'm not sure, but I'll put all the information down below for you. So this month we have the Coral Rough. Oh, how cute is that? How fun as we move into summer. It says, we hope your pup has been practicing their doggy paddle because it's time to visit the Coral rough. We took a deep dive into playtime with a collection of good buoys and gills. Okay, that's really cute. Are sure to love. When it's time to seize the play, this box has no barriers. So we always get a couple of toys, dog treats, sometimes a bone. So first we have a super cute fish. He's already, he's patiently waiting. This is the lionfish, Larry. I know. One moment, please. And then we have, oh, this is really cute. Um, excuse you. This is the Manny Ray, so a little stingray. And then we have a bag of gobble jerky nibbles, which are turkey treats. And then we have clucky jerky cuts, which is a chicken recipe. Oh, we have something new. We have a pure love chicken sticks. Normally we get that really long stick. This time we got two. So we'll give these to the dogs as well. And then of course at the bottom it shows you all the other toy options that you could have gotten. So somebody's very impatient at my feet. So let's ask Troy, would you like to give Palmer the stingray or the angelfish? Manny the Ray or Lionfish Larry? Stingray. Stingray it is. I may have daddy give it to you. Just a moment. Hang on, I want to film him. You are not patient. <gasps> Manny the Stingray. <gasps> are you so excited? Yeah, good 
job. You get it, get it, get it. Yeah, Palmer. Oh, I know, Lord. I tell him. Say, he's crazy. Oh, yeah. Say, give it to me, Daddy. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it. Oh, yeah. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Bye bye. <gasps> Nucky, would you like a chicken? Would you like a chicken treat? <laughs> oh Lord, it's sweet. Oh, someone abandoned the stingray for his treat. So I have the little chicken sticks here. So the little one for the little dog. There you go, bud. And there you go, Lola. Palmer, you better go get your stingray. <gasps> Palmer, where's your baby? For dinner tonight, I am making French dip roll ups. Both Troy and I have been craving French dip, so this is the perfect lower point, lower calorie recipe. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need some crispy onions, soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, roast beef of your choice, a can of beef consomme, which is basically the dip for a French dip. I'm going to be using Swiss cheese. It's only 50 calories, one point per slice. You'll need garlic and onion powder as well as a one point wrap. So I'm doing the Olay Extreme Wellness. So these are super simple to put together. So go ahead and pull out your tortilla. Put your cheese on the tortilla by breaking it up into smaller pieces. That way you have cheese in every bite of the French dip. Then we're going to add one serving of roast beef. And then we're going to add some crispy fried onions. Then I pulled out a baking sheet, sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray, and we're going to roll this up. Seam side down is going on to the baking sheet, and then repeat for four roll-ups total. I went ahead and made Troy's with his regular tortillas, and then mine with the Olay Wellness. These are going into a 450 degree oven until crispy. I did spray them with some nonstick cooking spray. That'll get them nice and crispy on top. If you hear the blower, sorry in advance, Troy is blowing out the backyard. So into a bowl, I'm going to add my can of beef consomme, and then three quarter cup of water. About a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce and a teaspoon of soy sauce. And garlic powder and onion powder. Give that a stir. I'm going to throw it in the microwave and warm it up. So the French dip roll-ups are out of the oven. They're nice and crispy and warm. You can see the cheese oozing out. I'm going to go ahead and plate these up. I have the, the au jus in the microwave warming up as we speak, and I'll be back to show you dinner. So here's my dinner. I can't tell you how excited I am for this. This looks so good and crispy with the onions, with the ooey gooey cheese. So that is one of the French dip roll-ups. I put some of the au jus, and then I decided to do some cucumbers with about a teaspoon of light ranch, just to get in a little extra veggie. So I'll go ahead and pop up here on the screen. Points, calories, macros. So for dessert tonight, I actually made some protein pudding earlier today. This is the Premier Vanilla Protein with the sugar-free white chocolate pudding. It smells really good. I'm going to add some whipped cream and I think some little mini chocolate chips, you can hear Palmer playing with his new toy, to this and this is going to be dessert. I have a whole video all about protein pudding with seven recipes so I'll link it down below for you. But this will finish out my protein for the day and be such a great sweet treat. joining me for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today, seeing all my good food. Diesel is doing really well. Troy actually did the hot compress this afternoon. He's going to do it again this evening. So fingers crossed that helps with the swelling. Poor Diesel. It sucks getting old. It sucks as a dog mom when your dogs get old. And of course, between Lola and Diesel, you know, it's been a lot for us. But I hope you enjoyed seeing Palmer get his bark box. Tonight's dinner recipe highly, highly recommend. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget my recipe website is in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.